Hey everyone, it's the Wise Barbarian, and I'm back. Uh, something I gotta mention. Okay, you may notice the time difference. Yeah, F fun in fact. Uh, apparently, I actually forgot to delete the video that I recorded for the previous update video, so it actually stayed on my device the entire time. I actually just started watching at the beginning of a little bit. And I noticed I recorded that on October 10th. If you look at this device I'm going to record, you'll notice it's October 25th. Yeah. <laughs> so it's been like 15 days since I recorded that. Yeah. So maybe it's not as long as I thought it was, but like, yeah. As you can tell by the fact that it's also 11.30 and and my phone's at 99%. Yeah, I finally got the charging situation down. But one thing I gotta call out. I meant to update you guys on this a lot earlier. But the one, there was this huge problem. And that's the fact, the fact that, like, last, like, weekend, I guess, for, like, people in school, was spring break for both my sister and my brother. Uh, and the reason why I said why I both them separately is that my sister is in kind of this homeschool kind of program called Epic Charter Schools, and my brother takes public schools, okay? And most time, every single weekend, and starting from Friday after public school hits out, to basically, yeah, around the time we're eating supper on Sunday. Actually, no. My sister has a friend come over like every weekend and whatnot. It's the same friend for us every weekend, and it's part of the reason why I, I actually kind of prefer to do my update videos on Saturdays, due to the fact that well, it's the one video that is like least required to be recorded to an extent, even though it's kind of been what most of my channel has been. For the past couple of days, these or past couple of, like uploads, but mostly update videos. Yeah, but either way, yeah. yeah I just want to like the part of why I choose Saturday is because well, it's the end of the week. Mm. Well, this feels right. But anyways, just need to mention real quick. Just, I got my you know, this is real quick. Not much has changed since the prior. Update. I mean, it's only been 15 days. You really expect that much to happen? Well, let's be honest. Obviously, one thing has happened. It's the fact that I've solved the issue of not being able to charge my device. Other than that, though, yeah, it's all good. Also, one thing I want to mention. Okay, I have actually come into some information involving the birth date, or maybe not birth date, I guess the correct date would be release date of a very good game. And I now know that it has apparently released the same, that even though it's released the same year I was born, I'm apparently older than it. Yeah, I'm older than it by, well, six days and a couple months. Yeah, I bet exactly how many months is the difference between July and October, but yeah, so while I'm recording this on the 25th of October, I'll be uploading it on the 26th, which is why I want to say happy birthday, okay, okay. or at least happy, you know, anniversary to the release yes. of GTA San Andreas. The original San Andreas, mind you, you know, because apparently GTA San Andreas was originally released on October 26, 2004. Yeah. I actually found that out, out like a couple of minutes ago when I was searching GTA San Andreas to see yeah, what consoles it could be played on. Because I was hoping to see if I could maybe get a copy of the original from a PS3. Because I really want to play the original so bad on console. Because I've exclusively played it on PC and a mobile device. And to be honest, while the mobile device was the definitive edition, 
It was, it was worse. Me, and the sad part is, I say the mobile version was worse, but it's also the one I've actually been able to properly play, and I actually have played farther in. Because, like, you know, admit the PC version I played, it was glitched. Okay, but you know, you know, when I got to the story, like when I went into the house to save after biking from the funeral that was being held for CJ's mom in the film. When I was biking, I went to CJ mom, CJ's mom's house to save. And then I immediately walked out. And then immediately, CJ could not stop turning left unless I hit the right button. You know, the right arrow key, I guess. It's the only way you turn anyway. Yeah, but, right, but right. Or anyway, but left. So the way I would have to walk forward was to, was to repeatedly alternate between turning or pressing the right arrow key. I'm pressing literally any arrow key, pretty much. Like, I've heard like, not even the back arrow key really worked. But it's like going backwards. It's like forward, left, or whatever. So, yeah. But either way... There's no way to go straight again. But either way, I still thought it looked better than the Definitive Edition. Since, as I mentioned, when playing the Definitive Edition, all they really did was just, like, I guess, update the, the, the lighting engine or whatnot, like the graphics engine. Other than that, it's still the same, like, pretty much low-poly models with the same, like, low-res textures on said models. At least for the characters, anyways, you know. Most of the time when you remaster a game, you're supposed to put just as much detail into the characters that you put into the world that you put your remaster that you're putting the characters in. Uh, you know, but they didn't touch the characters, but they heavily touched the world. You know, they didn't touch the characters at all, but they retouched that world in all places. Mostly the lighting, though, and to be honest, GTA San Andreas already had a good lighting engine, you know? His lighting engine was already pretty good, you know? I think the only graphical kind of, you know, not, not even really an issue, let's be honest, was the fact that due to how, like, due to the technology of the time, and the fact that the game was already so massive, so they're gonna have to compress it so much, is because of how they had to keep certain textures such low res, that kind of low res. They kind of made it so like you can't really make out the expressions on certain characters' faces and whatnot. And just something I gotta show, okay? And I just can't, I said I can't really compare it. Just don't, don't, oh, God, don't, yeah, don't pay attention to Michael Gray. This is literally, holy, oh, I guess I can't show you. 7.4 gigabytes. This is the largest app I have ever installed, ever. Okay. Probably have to cut it out and show my real hand. Whatever. Yeah, but either way. Either way, though. It is literally the largest game I've ever installed, ever. And here, I'm gonna pause the recording real quick. Just so I can like install Vice City. So you guys can get like an accurate kind of like comparison of like how much bigger the GTA San Andreas is. Okay, you may have noticed a lot of time has passed since so I unpaused. Yeah, that's because after download, because of the way the GTA is for Netflix to work, after downloading the apps, you also have to like download all their files afterwards, and I was just waiting for that to happen. And a lot of the files for like both games come from those like after download files and whatnot. Yeah. But I want you to take note. See, down at the top of the apps in no matter or in order of size is GTA San Andreas at 7.4. You go down by one. There's what's your variance down here again. I can't remember recently. This is 6.4. You go down by 10. Facebook Messenger. 3.9. And then you get to the fourth game, and that's how far down GTA Vice City for Netflix is. 3.5. Uh, 
And then after that, there's just no other game is like more than two gigabytes. With the game of that being 1.9, and then the game after that not even being a gigabyte, not even being a zero point gigabyte, just being megabytes. Like seriously. By the way, it's not well. I'll probably play it later. I'll play it again. Yeah, but either way, it's like this is the thing. Like, like GTA San Andreas is literally one of, if not the biggest GTA games ever. And the sad part is, most of the reason why it's that size is simply because of its map. You know, and the reason why it's able to have a map that size is because of compression of textures. A lot of those textures happen to be the characters' faces, you know, making it a lot harder to really know what a character really looks like. Yeah. So, yeah. But, you know, I mean, you can't really tell a real, most characters, you can't even tell if they really have eyes, let alone what the color of them are. I know, I'm not just pointing out the fact that we never really see Ryder without his sunglasses. Yeah, but either way, that's all I really wanted to say for this little quick update video. And just heads up, I'm still going to do what I originally said I was going to do, what I originally said I was going to come back. I mean, I was going to pick up where I left off when I, you know, had to, like, basically, like, stop recording in the middle of a week because I had the stomach bug. Just... Just to realize how many weeks ago that was. Like, that was, I'm pretty sure, like, last month or whenever it was when I had the stomach bug. You know, it's been, like, a long-ass time since I had that stomach bug. And just to think about, like, I had that stomach bug in reality for about, like, a day. Okay? It was just basically, like, a 24-hour bug. But I've been dealing with the consequences of it. For like so long. Yeah, for the rest of that week, I know what the consequences of like, you know, the like physical feeling was. Well, you know, like, I just didn't have the strength. And I wasn't at full strength. I wasn't at full energy. Yeah. Yeah. But like, even after that week, week every week after, I've been dealing with my channel, has continued to also deal with the consequences of me having a stomach bug. Like, my god. Like, to understand, it's almost as if my channel is, like, somehow going to be, like, tied to my health to an extent. Don't get me wrong, though. Hopefully, not everything that truly fucks up my health should fuck up the channel. Okay. Just really big major things. Like the stomach block. Well, see you all for now. So, why is our brain signing off? Bye bye.